if you think you've already fixed the exposure in an image, or you just want to focus more deeply on the colour, then the waveform isn't really the most useful thing to look at. Even if you flick to the RGB Parade, or indeed the RGB Overlay, which shows all of these three on top of one another, it's really not going to help you know exactly what orange that is, or what green that is, or what blue that is. For that, you probably want the vector scope. I'm going to make this one a bit bigger so I can see exactly what's going on. And the vector scope doesn't really show you exposure. It shows you colour based on the direction around the circle that a particular trace is pointing. And it shows you saturation by virtue of how far it is going out. Now there's little marks around here which are red, magenta, blue, cyan, green and yellow. And these correspond quite nicely to the colour board. These are effectively the traditional colour circle, or the hue circle, which is actually even shown here in the colour board button up here, which gets spread out sideways in the colour board itself. You can use this then if you were going to drag, for example, the white puck, the highlights puck in the colour board. If you drag it up towards blue, then you'll see the traces heading quite strongly towards blue. If you drag it quite a long way, or a little bit towards blue if you drag it just a little bit. The shadows versus highlights versus midtones are perhaps a little bit harder to see because remember the vector scope doesn't really deal with exposure. So you're looking at the overall colour of the image, not really just the shadows or just the highlights. However, this is a very useful tool, mostly for correcting people and for correcting colour casts. This line here is the skin tone line, and we'll look at this in a little bit more detail later on. But if I click on, say, this image, which has seen some correction already, you can see where the traces are, and you can see that the skin area is almost but not quite on the skin tone line. And I could indeed correct that and get it looking a little bit closer to being on the line. And that's a really, really useful technique. The vector scope really excels at correcting shots with people in them. No matter what your skin colour is, it should pretty much be lining up on the skin tone line. Now the vector scope doesn't have as many options as the others. You can set the scale to 100 or to 133, which you'll probably find a little bit easier to view, especially if your shots are on the less saturated side. The vector scope then, excellent for working with colour, not so good for working with exposure.